Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Alia Izzati Rosmi From Diploma Pendidikan Islam Class 1 Today I and my friends Will movie review The movie review That we choose is The Pursuit of Happiness So let's hear from us The Pursuit of Happiness is produced at 15 December 2006 years The duration of movie are 1 hour 57 minutes The movie inspires me because every hardship face must have a solution the barrier we face is not a barrier to success however it is an experience for us to rise again i can tell the story inspires me that in this part of the movie for example chris gardner had been test by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala with two times the thief of his machine the first situation is Chris had asking a straight female singer while playing a guitar and singing to keep a bone density scanner machine for a few minutes but fortunately The machine was taken by the woman. Chris could not pick up the machine. He felt very sad at the day. He stated that the day was a stupid day. The next day, he saw a woman who stole his machine on the bus. Then, he chased the woman took back a machine from her the second situation is the machine was stolen by a old man he had met on the bus and at the bus stop the old man tell chris that it is a time machine story is after chris go out from a taxi he ran away because he had no money to pay the taxi fare he ran towards the train station quickly caught into the train but his machine could not be together with him after four months chris and his son Christopher were at the playground he spoiled the old man and took back a machine from him even though Chris feel angry but he can control his anger anyone Who is not angry if our thing are stolen by people just like that? Of course, angry. The moral value that I have learned from this movie is we should fashion in the challenges as a father and employer in a stock. Broker at the gen with the big no nobody perfect and everyone sins, so we need to forgive and forget. The Quranic verse that is related to the movie is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has said in Surah Al Baqarah verse. 233 that's meaning be mindful of Allah and know 
that Allah is all seeing of what you do. In a conclusion, I can improve myself by accepting all provisions of Allah that happen at the time with a calm heart. When I accept the test with calm heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will add other blessing in life. My name is Nur Farhan Izati binti Ibrahim. Next, the movie inspires me because it is okay if people don't believe in your dream as long as you believe in yourself. For example, part of the movie is when his wife thought the stockbroker internship was a waste of time. In fact, she didn't even believe he had what it took to make it as a stockbroker. She used to tease him, then his own wife didn't believe in him. His wife left him and fate took him to a lifestyle he had never thought of. In the end, we see that he was able to work as a stockbroker at Dean Witcher's company and was able to set up his own finance company, Kernerich in 1987. His life changed dramatically from that moment. The moral value that I have learned from the movie is, we need have to hide self-confidence. The Quranic verse that is related to this video is Allah has said in Surah Al Imran verse 139. Do not be weak and do not grieve, but you are the highest if you are believers. In a conclusion, I cannot let people make us victims of their failures and unhappiness. We cannot let them kill our dreams by projecting their negativity to us. Besides, we should not pay attention to people who try to tell us that we cannot do it. If we want something, can show our potential to achieve what we want, eventually we will be satisfied with what we get on our own efforts. So, be proud of ourselves. My name is Auni Zanaria binti Abdul Ghani. Besides, this movie inspires me because life is like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes we are below and sometimes we are above. It will happen again and again in life. So, it will end when the effort built has been achieved. For example, Chris Gardner is a responsible man and father. Although his life is poor and had many shortcomings, but he always try hard to get money to feed his son and to find comfortable places to sleep. He also make blood donation to earn money. Next, as a trainer, Chris Gardner is responsible. Even he did not get any salary during the training, but he still tried his best to get the job until during the time off, he struggled to get the client. Even though he had an accident and he refused to go to the hospital as long as he could undergo the training. As a manufacturer, Chris is responsible when he tried hard to catch the hippie girl who steal his bone compaction machine. For him, he must get the machine to make round cell and to continue his family life. Hadith from Abdullah bin Umar that he heard the messenger of Allah has said. The meaning is everyone is a leader and every leader will be held accountable for what he leads. Head of state is a leader who will be held accountable for his people. A husband in his family is a leader and will be held accountable for his family. A husband's household affairs and will be held accountable for the household affairs. An assistant is a leader in the affair of his master's property and will be held accountable for the affairs of his responsibility. The Hadith explained us that every human being is given the task of leading or guiding, both in relation to himself and to others. Personally, a person is given the task of taking care of himself. The leader is given the task of leading people. 
the husband is in charge of leading and caring his wife. A wife is entrusted with leading his husband's children. The helper is given the task of taking care of the property or wealth of the master. And the child is given the task of taking care of the wealth of his parents. The task is a mandate. Whatever position a person has, he must take care of responsibility for the duties imposed on him before those who live and in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala later. No one can escape that responsibility. So, the moral value is we must be responsible like Chris Garner. Everyone could not escape by the responsibility. It is because in Quranic, Allah also said, Allah created us as a slave and we are responsible to obey his commands. In example, as a student, we must be responsible to finish our assignment given. No matter whether it is difficult or easy, we have to finish it on time and do not delay. In conclusion, I have one quote. You are responsible for your own happiness. The more you take responsibility for your past and present, the more you are able to create the future you see. That's all for me. Thank you. My name is Nurhani Shamimi Binti Rosli. Last but not least, the story from the pursuit of happiness can be an inspiration to me because I am very impressed with hard work that do by Chris for his families. For example, Chris has invested his family's money to buy the machine. His family's income depends on the sale revenue of the machine. He hope will get many customer by selling the machine, but no one wants to buy the machine. And the end, he got selling a many machine, although he had a low academic qualification, but he realized that he also had the advantage of being good in number a good personality to work at the stock broker. One the way to the selling the machine, Chris met J. Twistler, manager of the Witter, and he showed how to solve a rubric cup while in a taxi. He solved until successful. He got to be a beginner employer at the Witter company and succeed to get many clients from other companies. At the end of the movie, Chris very happy because Mr. From approved the permanent job for him to work at Dean Witter. He sacrifice all this time was really worth. It's after getting the news and celebrating with his son. The moral value that I have learned from this movie is we should hard working to try in something that can increase experience. The hadith verse that is related this video is Man ijtahada wa badalla ma fi wus inhi falla domana alayhi waktiba lahu Tamama sa'ihim Which means whoever earnestly strives for his abilities Then it is not obligatory to replace and is considered to practice perfectly Conclusion I can draw from this story is That it make us more motivate to be serious in doing something like the example of our current situation still learning to divide time between study work and time with family it can also be an example 
for us not to make mistake in starting a business so as not to be troublesome and not affect the family income.